Since February, the United States has also reinforced its presence in Romania with additional troops and F-16s. As the Black Sea region continues to be a focal point for Russia's war, the alliance will need to invest more resources in integrating air and missile defenses, deploying anti-drone capabilities and increasing its aircraft fleet with F-16s. Increased surveillance and reconnaissance flights by NATO forces could also undermine Russia's control of the sea by monitoring and exposing movements of Russia's Black Sea fleet as well as other vessels and equipment. NATO should also work to strengthen its cooperation with non-NATO member states that are part of the Black Sea regional security environment, most notably, Moldova and Georgia. Both countries are eager to have closer partnerships with NATO. In Georgia, for example, the alliance could expand the function of the NATO-Georgia Joint Training and Evaluation Center, which provides joint field and virtual training for active NATO military personnel and Georgian soldiers, to include naval operations. NATO also plays an important role in supporting and bolstering Ukraine's cyber defense and offense capabilities. Cyber attacks are part of Russia's full spectrum war against Ukraine. In the first three months of the invasion, Russia conducted almost 40 destructive cyber attacks against Ukraine, according to Microsoft. Last year, prior to Russia's full scale invasion, Ukraine sought to increase its collaboration with NATO's Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence, CCDCOE only to be rejected by the alliance when the steering committee could not reach unanimous consent. The committee finally approved Ukraine as a contributing participant member in March. And an agreement that will formalize the country's membership is in the works. For the time being, Ukraine is still considered as a candidate country. Ukraine's participation as a contributing participant of the CCDCOE should be expedited so that it can officially join the ranks of other non-NATO members, such as Austria, Finland, Sweden, and Switzerland. This will allow Ukraine to integrate its cyber defense system with that of the alliance as it cooperates and exchanges information with other members of that unit through education and research and development. NATO members can also support Ukraine's already successful efforts to recruit an IT army of international hackers to both defend Ukraine and attack Russian state and private entities that are fueling the war, most notably those under Western sanctions. So far, the cyber army is made up of mostly Ukrainian volunteers, but NATO could help Ukraine institutionalize a robust cyber force by providing hardware regular training for Ukrainian cyber specialists, and providing technical assistance to Ukraine's government agencies to improve cyber defense capabilities. Over the last several months, the United States has taken on the burden of supplying Ukraine with weapons and coordinating their distribution. But the U.S. defense industry is not prepared to do so for the long term as that would require a significant pivot toward mass production of specific weapons, some of which the U.S. military has not purchased in decades, such as Stinger anti-aircraft missiles. More closely integrating U.S. and European industrial defense production by streamlining defense procurement practices, for example may allow the defense industry to better anticipate the needs of Ukraine specifically and Europe at large, but doing so would take years. In the meantime, NATO, working with member states, can provide the strategic guidance to defense companies across the alliance to help identify gaps. Over the long term, the alliance has a mandate to take up its leadership role as the most important collective defense alliance responding to the Russian threat. The United States still sees China as the greatest long-term challenge, which means that more of the burden for securing Europe will eventually fall to the 29 European countries that are members of NATO, soon to be 31 with Sweden and Finland. The current U.S. administration is committed to supporting Ukraine and investing in broader European security. But the window for changing the trajectory of the war is narrowing.
The sooner NATO takes up its political mandate to support Ukraine, the greater the chance for ensuring its future is the most effective and powerful security alliance. That's all with the Foreign Affairs Report, August 4, 2022.